What's up boys and girls? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five Lego tricks that you've probably never known. So apparently only 7% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So for all the people who don't really know about my channel, I am a Lego boy. I make a lot of creations on my channel. I checked in the comments. A lot of you guys have, you know, commented on a lot of those builds and you ask questions like, yo TD, I see this cool building trick and I want you to kind of, you know, dive into it and talk about it a little bit because I thought it was pretty interesting how you built something that way. So because of that, I'm going to be talking about some tricks that I've used in the past and I just want to show it to you guys. Before I begin, go check out my boy Sacred because he actually has a video on his channel. I'm doing a five list here and he's doing another five list for five other uh, cool tips and tricks that you probably never knew. So you guys are going to want to check him out because he's a really spicy boy. He makes seriously spicy content. So anyway guys, I'm going to stop talking. Let's, uh, let's dive right into this. So the first technique I want to show you guys is what you saw in the thumbnail of this video and that is leaf weaving. So I need to give a big thanks to my boy Dan the fan because he actually showed me this trick. But all you basically have to do is take these five by six leaf pieces and you can overlap them and create these cool circular patterns. And what I've done in this example, I've actually created a pine tree. And this is really super easy to make. All you need are a stack of these two by two circular bricks as well as this six by six dish piece just to hold in some of the leaves. But Start with a nine piece layer and then go up to eight, seven, six, five, and then finally finish it off with a three piece layer. Now this next trick I wanna talk about is staggering. Obviously, staggering is a somewhat common term that you guys are probably familiar with, but the type of staggering I'm talking about is, you know, sort of the Lego definition of staggering, and that is um, placing pieces in certain patterns or just simply overlapping them. But what people don't understand is you can create huge, um, almost like optical illusions or, you know, your eye can perceive things differently depending on the patterns or the ways that you place pieces. For example, if I overlap and I stagger a bunch of these two, one by two bricks, well, it looks like a brick wall. If I take some of these brown tiles and I, if I organize them in this pattern, well, what does this look like to you? To me, it looks like a hardwood floor. Play around with this a little bit and, uh, you know, just let me know what you guys come up with. And for this next trick, we have using the back sides of tiles for texture. All you have to do is get a flat surface and you can actually, um, you can choose if you want to place tiles upright or upside down. Have a mix between the two and you can actually create some cool techniques. I use this in my Japanese sushi restaurant. You can do this for a lot of other things if you're creating a sidewalk to some building or a house or if you're just trying to create some nature build. Well, this is really fun to use and kind of a big flex in my opinion. It looks it looks pretty looks pretty schmexy, not going to lie. This is a pretty particular one, but one that a lot of you guys have found useful and interesting, and that is using grills for window pieces. So take a look at these one by two grills. If I take two of them together, you can actually fit a window pane inside. Now, the main reason why I like to use this is because I don't really honestly have very many window frames. So if you're like me and you don't really have the largest supply in the world, then you can use grill pieces as a substitute. And not only that, but it also looks a lot cleaner. Take a look at the Supreme store that I made. It's uh, it is a pretty neat design. And then finally, for our last technique, we have using stacked jumper plates to create textured wall designs. If you have a bunch of spare two by two jumper plates, if you guys don't know what those are, there are the tiles with the studs in the middle. All you have to do is take a handful of them, stack them on top of each other, and you can create a neat little textured effect, which is great for architecture based builds, like if you're making a house or if you're just making a wall. So there you go, guys. That was the video. Make sure you go check out my boy Sacred because he has a lot of other cool tips and tricks on his channel. Go like it up. Go give him some love. If you guys don't know, he's an incredible dude. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay Stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. I'll catch you on the flippity flop. Thanks for watching and keep on building.